Hey, it's Russ, and today I'm doing a rant video, which is something I have never done before. But the United States Post Office Ground Advantage Insurance has changed my mind. Um, earlier in the year, I sold a Baywatch, Pamela Anderson Baywatch poster. I shipped it in a sturdy poster tube. It took 12 days to travel from Florida to California, Los Angeles. And when it arrived there, it was crushed. The owner, or the person who bought it on eBay, sent me a message how disappointed they were because they were looking forward to this. And I agreed. I'd be disappointed too. Um, they showed me the damage on the exterior and on the poster and I did what anybody would do because with Ground Advantage which was launched in July 2023 uh, your sh item you're insured up to $100 so it's perfect I'm like this is great I'll just go online and submit the form now, here's the wonderful thing to know is I ship almost all of my packages to the post office. Um, I've shipped more than 1,600 packages in the past four years through the post office. So I'm thinking I'm a good customer. This should be easy. I will fill out the form, add the photos, and they will refund my money because they will see that they crushed the poster tube and damaged the Baywatch poster, the Pamela Anderson Baywatch poster, which turns out to be a rare poster because it was a mail order poster. So it wasn't one you could buy in the stores and it had Baywatch, the logo on it. So it went for a good amount. Um, when you include shipping and taxes to California, the total amount paid was over $60. So I'm like, this is great, but it gets there and it's damaged. I'm like, well, you know, I follow everything I'm told to do online. I try and be a good citizen. I fill out the form. I show the photos of the damage of the exterior of the tube. I show the photos of the damage of the interior of the poster. I submit it. Two weeks later, I get a lovely letter that states, oh, your claim has been denied so far. Please have you or the person who received the item, they also got the same letter. Please come to the post office so it can be examined Please bring the poster and the packaging. So I had to reach out to the buyer and hope that they had not, one, destroyed the thrown the packaging out, and two, make sure that they didn't throw the poster away because it's damaged. I mean, you can't, who wants to hang a poster that's damaged? I mean, so that buyer goes to the post office on a Saturday. Saturday. It's open. There are two post offices near his location in Los Angeles. He goes to the first post office, goes up to the teller, says, hey, I got this letter. And they respond, a supervisor has to look at that. I cannot. They're not here today, but we'll be back on such and such a date. And the letter never said anything about a supervisor or a date or setting an appointment to have this reviewed or that it just said bring into the post office to have examined. That's it. So luckily within less than a mile and a half to two miles, there is another post office in his neighborhood. He goes to that post office. Now both of these are open on Saturdays. We. We only have one post office around here that's open on a Saturday. Most aren't even open on Saturdays at all. 
He goes to that post office. Same thing. There's no supervisor to evaluate this. He sends me photos of the post offices he went to. He said, I was here. He sends me the locations and says, I will try and get back to the post office during the week, but I work. Huh, everybody works. So I called on, my, on behalf of this customer service in the post office, and then I got a number to um, basically where they do the claims and evaluation for uh, disputes for the insurance. I get a hold of somebody. I'm thinking, great, this is, this is good. They look at the photos. The person on the phone, who turns out to be, I think, in accounting, which turns out to mean nothing, says, I can see the damage on the tube, and I can see the damage on your poster. However, the letter stated you, to make sure that your claim is not denied, you need to take the poster in. So, I contact the buyer once again and I ask them if they can follow up and please go back to the post office. From that point, I hear nothing again from the buyer. Now remember, this person is pissed off. They spent $60 to have an item mailed to them. It arrives damaged. I refunded the price. So now I'm out the poster, I refunded it. But I do have the expense, I haven't made the sale. I don't get the poster back to resell it. I've paid for shipping, that that's right now a lost cause, um, and with the, and paid for a brand new tube. So I'm in about, with shipping and cost, 10 to $11, just for the tube and shipping. So, I never hear from this guy again. I reached out later, heard nothing, which I understand. Um, he did everything he was supposed to, and the post office failed him. So then I get a letter from the post office. You're denied. Your claim is denied. If you'd like to appeal, please provide new evidence, new information. Thank you. And the reason it was denied was because nobody went, it said nobody went to the post office. Nobody, there is no evaluation. And the fact is, is somebody went to the post office, but the post office didn't accept the item because whoever was working the counter decided that they didn't either want to be bothered or they didn't have the authority to go in and write notes about the item and make a decision. So why wasn't that in the letter that said, please come into a certain time, you need to see a supervisor, you need this requirement, can you make an appointment online? No, there's nothing like that. So you're left just like, you're screwed. The person who is the angriest at you is being asked to do you a huge favor so you can get reimbursed, and they don't really care. The only benefit I had is this guy is also an eBay seller, so he understands my pain. I have no idea. He did not do the follow-up. He is gone. So I write and show, I write a note about everything that happened on, and here's the other thing. When you appeal, you get 255 characters to appeal and get all the information about what's been going on to the post office. 255 characters. That's not a lot of space to write all the crap that went down, all the phone calls I made, all the time I committed, and that they damaged the item and don't want to pay for it. Which is the reason for insurance and 1600 items mailed before in four years never needed pay for insurance but don't use it and when I need insurance and paid for it I got nothing so to try and be more inf provide as much information I reviewed everything that happened I included a before my image from eBay and an after the damage and little circles around the area that was damaged were these little dimples or dents, which I couldn't tell whether they tore through the poster, but they ruined the poster. And then I wait. I'm like, obviously, you know, 
they wanted to review. Now I've got the before and the after. They will provide me with a refund. I went up to Pennsylvania. A letter comes in from the post office. Um, I didn't get back for two weeks. And I opened the letter and it said, declined. If you'd like to appeal, you get one last appeal. Please provide any new information about your situation so we can make a decision. Once again, I'm just, I'm, I'm losing my shit <laughs> because the reason you purchase, the reason that things are insured are when they damage it that it gets replaced. But the post office basically has put up these hurdles to go through. It's almost like fraud. They just want to wear you down so that you don't do anything so they get the money. And it's such a little bit amount of money. I mean, they provide a service and they failed. Refund me my money. That's all I'm asking. So I provided information that I shipped a perfectly good item in a perfectly good poster tube. You, the post office, damaged the package so much that the product was damaged. I provided the information, the visual information. The person went to the post office and no one could help them other than to say you have to come back again and this is my final chance to get anything I'm still awaiting the decision which is bound to be I get nothing so I will peel it as many times as I can the irony is in the meantime I actually had a second item get damaged two inches torn into the item from an envelope. I put cardboard on the outside of these these items because it was a paper envelope. It tore through, which it got damaged in some machine. I had the before and after photos. I showed the visual. That person gave me my first negative review on eBay in 20 years, so I have one negative review. And there was no voice of reason with this person. I refunded their money. I let them keep the item as yeah, of course and the post office declined that they they just outright send you a decline letter and then they went through the same thing please show up at the post office with you know your item and the packaging and this guy was so pissed at me he never responded when i asked if he could follow up and do that and it turns out he's a school teacher in california and i'm like really you help kids and you you're so negative and you understand I didn't destroy the item in the mail. The post office did. Well, the post office denied that and denied it a second time. And actually that case, case is closed. And it's just frustrating because you pay for insurance and it seems like the ground advantage insurance is fraud. That's all I'm going to say. And all I wanted to say is get this off is... Um, I'm probably going to lose the appeal because there's no nothing I can do. And all the steps that were taken were all the steps that the post office said I should take. And so I wanted to rant about, rant about this because I can't be the only one who's ever had this happen. And I'm sure it's they're just doing it over and over again because it's easy to collect the money. You just send out... The irony is they spent more time sending out these letters and the deny claims, multiple de decline letters, and someone sits there, it would have been cheaper just to pay me when I showed you the visual evidence than to not pay me all. Um, all I can say is, I hope this hasn't happened to you. But thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe. I talk about a lot of different things. Normally not rant videos. Um, eBay, uh, health, um, and dealing with clutter, <laughs> hence selling things on eBay. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe and take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.